Hello friends. In my this video, I am going to discuss about printing a matrix in snake pattern. Okay, so what is snake pattern? See, already in my previous video, I have discussed back and forth movement of a matrix and in Java, that type of concept only here we have to use. So the problem statement is just uh, go through once. Uh, given an n cross n matrix, there is square matrix. In the given matrix, you have to print the elements of the matrix in snake pattern. Suppose example 10, 20, 30, 40 in first row, 15, 25, 35, 45 is in second row, 27, 29, 37, 48 in third row and 32. 33, 39, 50 in fourth row. See output pattern 10, 20, 30, 40. It will directly print 10, 20, 30, 40. Then it should start from, you can think that it should start from here, but no. Snake pattern that is after finishing at 40, it will start from 45. So see, after 40, 45 is arriving, then 45, 35, 25, 15. That is from right to left, it will go. 45, 35, 25, 15. Then here 15, here it is ended in the left side. So from 15 to 27, it will start. So 27, 29, 37, 48. See here 27, 29, 37, 48. And then 48 here, it is ended in the right hand side. So it will start from the right hand side. So 50, 39, 33, 32. See here 50, 39, 33, 32. Okay, so this is the concept that we have to create or write such program which will print the input matrix like snake pattern. Why snake pattern? Because you can see once left to right, then if it, if the previous row finishes at right, it will start from right in the next row and it will go from right to left. Then if it is finished in the left, then again the next row, it will start from the left, from left to right, it will go like the snake pattern, back and forth movement, it will, uh, based on that, it will print. Okay. So, already uh, obviously it is clear that uh, we are going to use the back and forth movement concept. See here, I have already defined. Uh, see back and forth uh, rows already I have discussed in my previous video. In the description I have gi given the problem statement also as well as the code also, MATLAB code also I have given and you can get the Java code in this following link I have written. If you open the link, here our blog will be open that is MATLAB programming and here if you go below here here you can get the Java code, okay? You can clearly see here Java code and corresponding output is there. But that code is bit different from this, this code. We have to print the back and just user will give one input corresponding to that back and forth matrix has to be generated. But in Java, in this particular program, we have to just input matrix will be given by the user. Just we have to print back and forth that is snake type pattern. So what to do? Same algorithm. See, if it is even row, that is suppose i equal to 0 or i equal to 2 print directly that is for i equal to 0 i less than l i plus plus for j equal to 0 j less than j plus plus but if it is odd row then instead of starting from j equal to 0 j less than l you have to do the reverse that is j equal to l minus 1 then j greater than equal to 0 j minus minus okay that is you have to print from the last like see here you can observe uh, 10, 20, 30, 40. So, so from the first it is printing. But for the odd row, this is the first odd row, right? The, which is corresponding to row number 1. See it is printing from 45. 45, 35, 25, 15. So that is the basic code. So let us go to directly the program. And the program is very simple if you already have done the back and forth movement of matrix. So if you want, uh, you can go through the link given in the description. I will post that video link in the description okay so see here also i have used buffer data class so import java.io.star then class lopa then public static void main string args throws io exception then buffer reader r equal to new buffer reader new input stream reader system that we have created the object in the buffer reader class then system dot out dot and enter the dimension of the matrix okay that is n cross in that n we have to take from the user so in the l1 equal to integer dot parse i in the r dot read line in the l1 variable we are storing that then int a equal to new int l1 cross l1. We are creating one empty matrix of size l1 cross l1. Then we will take input from the user in that matrix. So for int i equal to 0, i less than l1, i plus plus. For int j equal to 0, j less than l1, j plus plus. System dot out dot window and enter the element at i j position. a of i j equal to integer dot parse i int r dot read line. Okay. So by this we have taken the input from the user. Then better to print that matrix. So this part is just to print the entered matrix by the user okay 
then here system dot out dot printl in this snake pattern for the output is for int i equal to zero i less than l one i plus plus. Then we are checking whether that row is even or not. If it is even row, we will start from beginning column. If it is odd row, we will start from ending column. So if i mod two equal to equal to zero for int j equal to zero j less than l one j plus plus system dot out dot print a of i j else for int i equal else that means obviously that row is what odd row uh, so uh, if it is even row then you will start from beginning if it is odd row you have to start from end so for int j equal to l1 minus 1 then j greater than equal to 0 j minus minus system dot out dot print a of ij why i have not written system dot out dot print ln because our intention is not no need to print the matrix we have to print the elements in snake pattern so to write the mat all the elements in the same line we have used print instead of print ln okay let us check whether our code is working or not for the given test cases and uh, some other also. So go to command from cd java, java c, lopa dot java, then java, lopa. Enter the dimension of the matrix. Suppose let me take the first case which is 4 plus 4. So 4, the first element 10, 20, 30, 40, 15, 25, 35, 45. 27, 29, 37, 48, 32, 33, 39, and 50. Let us check. See, this snake pattern output is 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 35, 25, 15, 27, 29, uh, 37, 48, 50, 39, 33, 32. It is exactly matching with our this output. Like let us check for one more case, suppose for 3 cos 3, suppose you want to check, let us check one more. So see here also this is 1, so 1, 2, 3, then 6, 5, 4, then 7, 8, 9 has to be printed in case of snake pattern. So enter the dimension 3, then first element 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 6, then 7, then 8, then, uh, sorry, I have uh, given one space. Let me give from the beginning, enter the dimension 3, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. See, the snake pattern is 1, 2, 3, 6, 5, 4, and 7, 8, 9. Okay, so perfectly working our code. So this is all for my this video. I will post the same code in the comment section. If you want, you can check there. And if you have any doubt regarding the algorithm, please go through the back and forth movement in a row, uh, which I have already discussed in my previous video. That link I will provide in the description. Okay. And for further uh, doubt, please ask in the comment section. Thank you.